Hey everyone, this is HypoWow, and welcome back to another episode of Puzzle Playlist. In this episode, I'll be playing Tetris Splash for the Xbox Live Arcade. Two, one, go. So, as some of you well know, I really enjoy Tetris, like, a lot. Like, maybe more than most people should. I mean, still to this day, this has to be my favorite puzzle series ever. And it's even up there in one of my favorite game series ever as well. It's actually kind of funny how I even got, how I even started playing Tetris in the first place. So way back in the day, there was an ad entitled America the Beautiful, and it was an ad for the Game Boy Color. And what it was, was it had the 50 states, but they were Game Boys in the shapes of the 50 states. And I thought that looked pretty cool, you know, as a kid, you're into geography and things like that. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to stack states like that. And I actually thought that was an actual game. So, I got my parents to call on the Toys R Us to see if they had it, which they didn't because the game didn't exist and it never did exist anyway. Um, I told them if they didn't have it, then I would get Pokemon Red instead, but they insisted on me getting this game, which didn't exist. So, they got something similar to it that they found. So, instead of me getting my first Pokemon game, I got my first Tetris game instead. I'll, I'll be honest with you, it really wasn't a bad trade-off either. I mean, I still, to this day, enjoy Tetris DX, but I wish I could find it wherever it is. It's gotta be somewhere in this house somewhere. But I have to say my favorite version would have to be Tetris DS. I only remember a few car rides after I got that game that I didn't play it, and still to this day, whenever I go on long trips, I still try to beat my high score on Marathon. Well, really, Tetris overall it has to be the ultimate travel game to me, because Every time I go on a long trip somewhere, I always break out my DS and start playing. And I still remember, for whatever reason, whenever people would, I guess they didn't know about the game, they would, <laughs> they would always come, they would always come by, and they would see me playing, and they would always ask me if I was playing two games at once. Because for those of you who don't know, Tetris DS, they had this NES theme going on about the entire game. With, well, I played mostly marathon mode, so they would see that. Like, there will be Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers 3, and all that. And while you were playing, there will be there will be the game going on above you. So, you know, I guess it's kind of easy to get confused. That's that's exactly how I thought. I thought it was going to be confusing at first how to, how to play two games at once. But if somebody's done that, that'd be crazy. I mean, I'd like to see that somewhere. But some facts about Tetris maybe you didn't know. Um... Each, te each tetrimino, yes, they're called tetriminos, is actually based off of a letter. They're I, J, L, O, S, T, and Z in alphabetical order. And actually, the name Tetris itself is actually comes from the root tetra, meaning four, which, you know, there's four blocks in each, um, in each tetrimino, and you can only clear up the four lines at a time. And actually, Tetris can actually... Studies have shown that it can actually help with traumatic events. Um, I guess whenever people experience traumatic events, this game kind of helps them to get off of, I mean, get their mind off of it. But I don't know if this is it's just Tetris. Maybe it's other puzzle games as well. Maybe it helps you think about other things. But that is going to do it for this episode of Puzzle Playlist. Thank you all for watching. This has been Hypo Wallo. And if you have any suggestions for other puzzle games I could play, then feel free to leave a comment, or feel free to leave a comment about something else as well. But until then, I will see y'all later. Take care, everybody.